Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be going over if ChatGPT is actually helpful when it comes to creating UI material inside of Unreal Engine 5.2. So to keep this quick so then um, I can let y'all just enjoy the music and watch, I would have to say ChatGPT should be used as a very basic tool. When I went inside of ChatGPT and I was asking it to create these materials, I really was making it clear that I wanted to have it detailed step-by-step -step direction for a beginner, for someone who absolutely knew nothing inside of the engine. And I was trying to make that very clear. Now, ChatGPT gave me quite ambiguous answers when it came into creating gradient masks and uh, attaching output nodes. Uh, but when it was, you know, all about opening up Unreal, creating new materials, opening up certain folders and paths that were already set in front of us, it was very clear to understand what it was telling us. Now, I do have to say, I think when it comes with ChatGPT, there's a contextual understanding that we need to take in consideration. The version of ChatGPT I'm using right now, I think is version 3, and it was answering my question based on a knowledge base from 2021, which should be Unreal Engine 4. So I'm quite a few, ver uh, quite a few versions ahead of what it was answering from, but still there was enough context to know what I was asking. And I wasn't asking for anything wild or out of the ordinary. I think I was just asking for a glowing blue box. Also too, I think that there are a few assumptions that ChatGPT makes when applying nodes. I believe that it assumes that the details of the node has already been expanded and doesn't come in default and collapsed because there were a couple of uh, paths that it was telling me to take that if I was a beginner, I wouldn't know that I'd need to expand that node um, or look inside of the details panel on the left-hand side in order to access some of the information it was telling me to find. Another thing that I also found with ChatGBT is this term called AI hallucination. I think it's an interesting term because really it just means that AI is making up false information based on uh, what it has available to itself. And the biggest part about that is it was telling me to connect nodes inside of alphas that were already um, connected to other, uh, other content and just kind of being confusing about the text coordinate nodes, uh, telling me to delete all defaults. It was just kind of strange. It was giving me some interesting pathways to take that were leading me down rabbit holes of never ending questions. Um, as well as, you know, while looking into ChatGBT and its limitations, one of its biggest limitations is long-term and multi-turn questions. So you may think, you know, how to create a UMI, UI material is a pretty straightforward question, which it is, and it would tell you to go into your content drawer, right click, create a material, and go into your de details panel and um, change the material domain to UI, and that's where it would end. But what it doesn't excel in is when we start asking it to give us um, multiple color coordinates, when we start to ask it for animations, or transforms, um, that's when it becomes a little stressed and uh, just doesn't really comprehend the the creative space of of uh, creating materials. So, in the to be short, I guess I would just say, if you're a beginner and you're hoping to learn to create materials inside of UI, inside of Unreal, and create the and learn the basics of Unreal. ChatGPT is good for you. It will tell you terminology. It will help you through almost like a study guide, but it won't actually teach you how to be creative and it won't teach you how to use the blueprints very accurately. Um, but I would definitely keep it open on the side. I think after kind of going through this experiment, I do like to have ChatGPT open on the right hand side because I am, you know, always evolving and trying to be better when it comes to blueprints and visual scripting. And I want to know what some of these are. Sometimes I think we can go in and just create these large 
uh, material graphs full of nodes and interconnecting points and not know what everything is actually telling us, but understanding what each of them do is, I feel, important and something I'm getting more interested in. So ChatGPT is a nice tool to have off on the side so I can ask it, you know, what is a, a LERP? I, I can't, I'm not even going to attempt the full term, but what is that? What does um, a component mask actually do? And um, it's good. It's good when it comes to that. Um, so I do recommend having ChatGPT over on the right hand side as an easy to access knowledge base when it comes to learning. But I would not use it as a crutch um, when it comes to replacing actually learning how to make UI material. And if you are afraid that UI, I mean, if you are afraid that AI is going to take our jobs, I would have to say you can take a breath because I don't feel like this is uh, close enough to taking any of our jobs just yet, but it's definitely been a really fun experiment. And for my next video, I will be doing more of a tutorial. I was hoping to make this one into a tutorial, but it was kind of a fail and I'm just trying to make the best of it. So if you like this video and you're liking the content that I'm making, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel if you want to, as well as there is a link for my Discord down below where I created a small UI implementation, UI game art Discord channel. We have a nice little community going, so if you want to know more information, um, go ahead and give that a follow. And I will leave you all here. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Stay safe, and I will see you next time. Bye!